like after like I don't know I think I uploaded my last video like two weeks ago <laughs> Busy, so that's why and I've just had a lot of thoughts everywhere thinking about a lot of things so but anyway I thought today I have I'm going out somewhere so people have been asking me to do a makeup tutorial on that makeup look that I done a couple I think like a week ago and it's like got like the brown liner it's like a really bronzy kind of look um, so that's what I'll be doing today and I'll be showing you guys how to do it but <sighs> guys just a little insight I'm not a makeup artist so don't be judging me and putting all those judgmental comments down below saying that you should be doing this and you should be doing that mate I'm doing what feels good for me and my skin and I'm not a makeup artist I'm not professional I'm not doing what I'm doing for any particular reason it's just because I think it looks good on me so that's how I'm taking this video that's the approach of this video so this is just purely to show you guys how I done it because you guys really liked it and I love to share things with you so that's what's happening right now let's get started so basically I do what I always do my normal average daily makeup like foundation and bronzer whatever and I literally just changed my eye makeup um, so I'll get started with my normal face makeup and that's just first starting off. I got so dirty, man. Anyway, first starting off with the Farsali, Farsali oil. I love this thing, man. After my oil, I will generally put my foundation on straight away. So, uh, my normal. Actually, I don't know if I've shown you this one yet. I think this is a new foundation. Um, I started using this recently, it's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I love this thing. It's like medium coverage, not full coverage. Um, so it just feels so good on my skin and it just applies so beautifully. So. And after the foundation, I have started using something that I used a while ago. And it's the Maybelline, it's Maybelline, right? Yeah, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, Rewind Eraser Dark Circles, okay? Mate, I used this a couple years ago, right? And then it was amazing, but then, you know when you start getting to that mentality where it was like, like Sephora opened up near my house and, um, yes, yeah, Sephora opened up near my house and I'm like, you know what? Maybe Sephora has better concealers. So I started trying all these other more expensive concealers and they were good, but I didn't love them. You know what I mean? Like I have the the Kat Von D concealer, this one. It's good, but I don't love it. Like it's just like feels a bit heavy sometimes. But then I got this again. Priceline had like a 50% off sale or whatever. And then I got it and then I tried it again. And I was just like, mate, this is why I loved it back in the day. And I was just like, stuff all of those other concealers. I really love this. So far, this is probably my favorite concealer. Um, or like everyday stuff but I think if I wanted to do a bit more like cakey makeup more like full full-on coverage the Kat Von D would be really good too though <laughs> oh my god I think I've sneezed every video I do my bronzer. The same bronzer by Tarte, Park Ave Princess. Right. And I just get in there, give me a big brush. With the look I'm doing today, I like to make it really like bronzery. Like, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna be applying more than I usually apply. And then I lift it up and make it quite bronzy up on my forehead as well. And then I like to finish off by putting some bronzer on my eyelids. Just gives your eyes some colour. If you don't want to put any eyeshadow on, this really helps with giving your eyes some colour. Then I powder up my face a bit. So it doesn't look so oily. I'm still using the Chanel loose powder. Nothing's changed guys. Not much has changed, no. 
I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow on my eyes with this look. So literally before I went to Priceline, it was like 50% off um, everything, uh, all cosmetics, right? So I've got that concealer and I also got this NYX um, like crayon jumbo eye pencil. It's like a crayon dark br in dark brown. It's number 602. I really wanted like a, like a like something to like a brownish color that can I can I can put on and then make it look a bit of a make it look like a bit of a smoky eye and I think I achieved it with this color right so I got this and I also got I got a white eyeliner for the first time ever and then I got where is it I also got this NYX um, lip liner I love this color I saw this with my I saw this on my cousin's Instagram story. She's like the best makeup artist ever. Shout out Dunya Mohi. Um, she done my makeup for my marriage ceremony. I'm gonna start off by doing my eyes. So I use this NYX dark brown crayon, the jumbo eye crayon, and I basically just apply it on the outer corner of my eye. You have to use a really light hand because it's so big, like the crayon is so thick. So just use a really light hand and just Draw a slight line across and just on top of your lid. So it's just kind of like that. I use a eyeshadow brush. It's like a flat fluffy one. I grab it and I just just soften it out and I smooth it across. Just blend it out into like it's like I blend it out as if I was drawing on my eyeliner I just blend it out into like a sharp um, what's it called a sharp it's just that easy like I literally spent what three seconds on it and that's that okay and then for the other eye same thing on the other eye and then I just run a little under my eye with the same brush and that's that. That's that to the eyeliner. That's literally it. And it's like the easiest thing ever. It's like my favorite thing to do every day now because it's so much easier than just drawing on my eye with eyeliner. And now I'm gonna take my NYX, the white. I haven't taken off the wrapping properly. It's so freaking hard to take off. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. This is the the NYX the NYX eyeliner, right? And it is in white blanc. And it comes out, it's like a little crayon as well. Right? And all I do is I just apply it inside my eye. And that's that. And now I'm just gonna finish off with putting on, oh! I'm just going to finish off with putting on some mascara and some blush and then I'll finish off with my lips. Okay, so that's my eyes done and now to finish off with my lips, I'm just going to use that new eye, eye la, la, la. I'm just going to use that new lip liner that I bought the other day from NYX and it is in the color natural or naturel. My favorite nude lipstick lately is from MAC and it's called Honey Love, Matte Honey Love. Okay, so this is the final look. This is the exact makeup look that I done that was in one of the photos that I posted the other day and that I posted on my story. Um, so let me know what you think and tell me if you liked it or not um, in the comments. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it kind of gave you a new idea to do for your makeup. Um, and once again, I love sharing things with you guys. So let me know what else you'd like to see. Mwah.